section 1.2, the basics of set theory, and we'll also look at set notation here. So remember, in section 1.1, we looked at the five sets of numbers. These are the natural numbers, and we also looked at the natural numbers including zero, the rational num or I'm sorry, the integers, the rational numbers, the real numbers, and the complex numbers. We found that all of these sets are related to one another, that in fact the natural numbers is a subset of the integers, which is a subset of the rationals, which is a subset of the reals, which is a subset of the complex numbers. And the way we note that is we say that our integers, our, our uh, natural numbers are a subset of our integers, are a subset of our rational numbers, are a subset of the real numbers, which is a subset of the complex numbers. Meaning, all of our natural numbers are also going to be integers, plus other numbers. All of our integers are also going to be rational numbers. All of our rational numbers will also be real numbers. There we go and all of our real numbers will also be complex numbers. If you have any questions on this, I'll go ahead and I'll post some videos on section 1.1 to help you make the clear difference between these five sets of numbers and how they're related to one another. You can also go back to the notes that we worked on in class. The first thing we're going to look at with regards to these sets is the size of sets. And this doesn't just apply to these five main sets, but any set of numbers. So the natural numbers are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. But we could have a smaller set of numbers, such as 1, 3, 5. That is a set, and in fact, that's a finite set. A finite set is going to be a set that we can count them all. It might take a ridiculously long time, but we can count them all. And we will reach the end eventually. So as I just showed you, the set 135 is considered finite. So is the set negative 20, 0, 20, 100, 140. If there's an end, if we will eventually be able to count every number, it's finite. None of these sets up here are finite. We will always have to count forever and we'll never reach an end which brings us to the two types of infinite sets. We have countably infinite and uncountably infinite. Countably infinite means that we will never reach the end. But there's a clear pattern we could continue to follow. For example, our natural numbers are countably infinite. We can start with 1, or if it's a natural numbers plus 0, we could start with 0. But we can start with 1, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. And we can continue on this pattern of always adding 1 to the previous number. So this is considered countably infinite. The other sets that we have that are countably infinite are the integers and the rational numbers.